Hi everyone, hope you're doing well and I hope you're enjoying the emerging spring, slightly warmer days and that kind of translates into feeling a bit more comfortable in our bodies too, doesn't it? Um, less cold, less kind of shivery and um, less cold muscles. So we can continue to enjoy the sense of movement that, and possibility that spring affords us. And this week we're going to um, look at a, a, a kind of a, a related sequence to the five animals that we've done before, but a slight variation. I'm still working on the same organ system, the same elements, but there's some variations to explore in the next few weeks and then work towards a completely new set of movements after Easter. All right, so let's have a stretch up. And twist on one side. Change. Come back to the middle, come down. Circle the shoulders up and back. And rolling forward, up through and forward. Right. Look to one side. Change side. Look straight ahead. One ear to one shoulder. <coughs> Change side. Then circle your head from one shoulder to the other. Semi circle. Take it easy. Back to the middle. All right. Great. And take one arm and cross the body. Straighten the back and twist. Change and either the other arm crosses over or the same arm on the other side. Grabbing hold of your chair, just twist this way. Come back. Good. All right. Legs. Take one leg and support it underneath the knee. And circle but one way and then the other way. Then extend and then other leg if it's available, maybe with support. And if that foot is available, circle again. If not, we use to circle the whole knee or leg. Circle the other way. And back. All right, so we're going to do this seated and I'll show standing versions of this um, in subsequent weeks, but we're going to just for a few weeks take a focus on seated um, sequence work. I'm going to get used to these slightly different shapes. So the most important movement, the most important shape we have in Tai Chi is the breath. One or both hands on your belly, if one hand is is uh, less responsive than the other, put the good hand on top, sandwiching, not so good hand in the middle, okay? Breathe in slowly through your nose. Feel that balloon in your belly. Breathe slowly out. Either through your nose or your mouth. Breathe slowly in through your nose. Get that breath right down here into your belly. Breathe slowly out. Breathing in. That belly expands. Breathing out. And it contracts. Breathing in. Breathing out. Now as you breathe in, that belly, the balloon expands, and one of both hands. Imagine that balloon to come out and you're going to push that balloon back into your belly as you breathe out. Breathing in. And breathing out. One more. Breathing in. Breathing out. Good. 
Now up and down. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in. And out. Two more. Last one. Okay, now we're going to bring one or both hands up. And imagine we're holding the top of the ball. And we're going to turn it one way and then turn it the other way. Keep changing. We're going to try a first of our shape. The water element. This is going to be a dragon inspired shape. You're going to take one arm and cross your body. Whatever, whatever arm is good for you, you're going to cross your body and push the palm out to the wall to one side. And the other hand, if it's available, you're going to have palm up and reach out and you're going to twist and look over one shoulder. And then come back, change over. I'll show the two hand version and then I'm gonna show you the one arm version in a minute. So other arm crosses the body, pushes to the other wall, and the opposite hand, palm up, twist, look behind. Back, that palm up comes on top. Then pushing and twist. Coiling dragon kind of shape. Back. Up. Push. Reach out. Back. Change. Push and reach. Back. Change. Push and reach. So if one arm is what you're working with, you're going to push the palm to one side, come back, palm up, reach the other palm, reach that palm behind you on the other side. So reaching one side, back, pushing straight across the other side. Back, palm up, reach round, palm back, push. Back to two sided now, a few more. What like dragon water element shape? One more each side. Back. Back. And come back. Arms up and down. Circle. Hands down and just take a little rest here. Hands on your belly. Good. Okay. Number two, we're doing five elements, five animal inspired uh, shapes and movements. Number two is the metal element. And it's tiger. All right. Hands down. Up and down as before. Good. And then I'm going to come up and make with one of both hands cat pad shape. So that involves folding first knuckles, things at the side. So you've got like pads, like a cat pad. I mean, you your cat, pet cat, two pads. And you're gonna bring one of both hands back, push them forward. Stretch around, bring up, bend the elbows, 
open, bring back, push forward, rotate at the wrist, bend at the elbows, open up, bring back, push, rotate, bend, open, back. Show one more and then one arm, one side exertion, one side, okay, open out. When you open out, can you engage the chest on the other side as well? Pushing forward, rotate, bend, open, open the chest, push, take, open, out, back, push, rotate, bend, open, back, few more with our tigers. Okay, last one. Good. Up and down. Hands on the belly, rest. Okay, number three, leopard. Still on the big cat theme here. Up and down. This is the wood element now. Okay, and then bring it out. I'm going to turn that ball again one more. Turn it the other way. Turn. 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 And then bring palm up to one side. If you're holding a plate, if the other hand is working with you, then you have it just under the armpit. And then you're going to push that palm. You're going to lean the body, push over your head to one side, like a leopard stretching out its paw. And if you can, look to where that palm is pushing. And then bring the arm down and circle both hands around hold it. and then other side that arm out holding the plate the other hand just by the armpit lean the other way and push that leopard paw looking up drop it down Circle both hands. A few more times and show the one hand version. Open, palm up, hand on armpit. Lean as you push across your body. Look to the wall in which you're pushing. Drop it down. Circle. Open the other arm up, hold the plate. Lean, push across the body. Drop it down. Circle. Okay, one side inversion. So you're going to open up, holding that plate. Push. Get a good stretch. Then drop it down. Bring the hand on your armpit, on your other shoulder, as you reach to the other side. Come back, circle, open. Push, lean to one side, drop it down, circle, hand on the other shoulder, lean, to the other side, back, circle, 
all the time. 200 now. Push. Draw. Circle. All the time. Push. Draw. Circle. All the time. Push. Draw. Circle. Open. Push. Draw. Circle. And now we're going to close. Up and down. And left. Three out of the five. Number four, snake, working on the element of earth. So I've got a two-sided version and then one-sided version will be demonstrated. Up and down. And you're gonna bring, so both arms around. Yeah, one arm over the other, and the palm down. So this is one snake head. And then the other snake head comes down. And it's lower down. So you've got like a nice, uh, like a slope looking down to that lower snake. And then the other one comes over. And you're reaching both snakes over to the other side. And then change other snake high. The snake half of the shoulder comes down, leans. Other snake comes over. Reach both snakes to the other side. Change. 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 Okay, I'm going to do one side version now. Warm palm up. Lean away from it. Comes down, up, down, low, lean towards it. Comes up, lean away, pushes over, comes down, down low, lean towards it. And drop, lean away, push it over, shoulder, down low, lean towards it. One more time, up, lean away, push over, down, lean towards. Two-sided now, one couple more, one. Two, two snake heads. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Drop the hand, circle. Up and down. And when you're ready. Well done, guys. Four out of the five. Check into your hands now. You may start to notice that there's some heat, some warmth in your palm. As we go into our last shape, crane shape, the element of fire, we're going to work on this idea of heat. So, if both hands are available to you, you're going to 
have the palms facing each other, breathing in, open, breathing out, close, not touching, breathing in, open, not too far apart, keep relaxed, breathing out, close, breathing in, breathing out, one arm at the center line, breathing in, open, breathing out, back to the center line, breathing in, Breathing out, in, out, both hands in, breathing out, in, breathing out. Now, crane, we're going to open up our crane wing, look up, then lean back, bring the arms towards the back of the hand towards each other. Circle them round and up. Back. Breathing in. Breathing out. In. Out. Here we go again. Open. Bring the backs of the hands towards each other. Circle out. Bring up, help us in, breathing in, breathing out, in, out. Last demonstration, both sides. Open both arms, back of the hands towards each other as you curve back. Open up, palms up, elbows in, palms face together. In, out, in, out. Okay, one hand diversion. Open. Turn the back of the hand in towards the center line of the head. Circle it out. Palm up. Elbows back, palms facing your center line. Open, close. Open. Close. Good. Then open the wings. Curve the back of the hand round. Open, scoop down, palm up, elbows in, breathing in, breathing out, in, out, in. Uh, last time, open the wing, circle the arm around, circle it back out, palm up, elbow in, breathing in, out, in, out. Last time with both arms, open, back of the hands towards each other, open up, scoop up, breathe in. Uh, elbows in, sorry, breathing in, breathing out, in, out, in, out. One more time. Open the wing. Back of the hand towards each other. Open up. Scoop up. Elbows in. Breathing in, out, in, out. And again, to slow this down. And then to finish our practice today, big circles, you breathe in. Breathe out. And the hands on your belly. Let everything step on, slow down. And we're done. Thank you.
So I hope that sequence is nice. We're going to work on that for a few more weeks. And I can show you guys some standing versions along the way as well. Those of you who are enjoying a standing practice at the minute. Okay, have a great week. Bye-bye.